my name is Matt Marr. I want to talk to you about the seed. You know, when Jesus puts faith in our heart, it really is like a like he's planting a seed. You know, the, when Jesus talks about the parables um, of the of the seed, you know, he talks about a gardener who kind of throws seed everywhere. And in some ways, you know, your heart that's what happens in life is that stuff kind of gets thrown and for some reason you're finding yourself in this position where all of a sudden there's this little thing inside of you called faith that's growing and it's so important during this time just to be open and to allow it to grow you know and the funny thing about a seed is that you got to go where there's water you got to go where there's sunlight you got to stay um, you know when you're planting a garden you got to make sure there's enough sunlight there and there's plenty of water and so the thing about it for us as, um, as disciples is that once we've been given that seed of faith, um, my encouragement to you is to stay close to Christ and allow that seed to continue to, to nourish and to grow. You know, the funny thing about when you, when you fall in love with somebody is it's, it, there's way less cerebral activity happening. It's, a lot of it's just driven by your heart. Um, it's it, yes, it's driven by your head, but it's mostly just driven by a passion. You want to know somebody more. You want to live um, in a more intimate way and be more connected with them. And so my encouragement in this, um, this sort of seed phase is allow the seed to plant, allow the roots to come out, to embed themselves deep in your heart. Get to know God more. Let your passion for Him kind of fuel your uh, pursuit of Him in a more profound way.